project that we just, uh, just this last October, we wrapped up. As you can see, this is a two-car garage, and we actually took a portion or segmented it off to approximately 12 feet long, 5 feet wide, and we were able to store some 675 bottles. So we had a few obstacles to overcome, uh, besides all the bicycles and, and all the storage things, because of the garage door and the, and the track that it rolls on. We had limited height to work with, but we're still able to maintain some of their storage, as you can see above here. So all in all, came out really nice. Clients are very, very happy with it. The entry is our Tuscan wine cellar entry door. Uh, it's a, a, a radius or a true arch with a wrought iron gate. And you can see some of the fine detail of the wrought iron, the grapes and the grape leaves. So a really nice thing, very popular thing. Okay, one of the nice features of our Tuscan door on this wrought iron is actually it's optical. You can lift this little hinge, or that little uh, latch there, and it's on a hinge. So for cleaning purposes, you can uh, keep the dual paint glass free of dust and still create a nice view right into your wine cellar. Very simply, it attaches back to the door. So going into the wine cellar, we're really happy the way this turned out. The, the customer picked out the um, the paint scheme is kind of a, a wine color. It looks very, very nice with the premium redwood. See the subtle color variations in the wood? Uh, it really looks nice with this kind of pinot color scheme. The flooring is actually, although it looks like it's wood, it's a cork floor, so it has a little bit of gift to it. As you first enter the wine cellar, this particular client has lots of these wooden boxes for magnums uh, and, and even certainly for larger uh, wood cases for 12 packs and 6 packs, but we start off the run here with a solid quarter round display shelf. As we move back further into the cellar, lots of large format bottles 1.5 liter, 3 liter, 6 liter, and, these, and even in the back, as you can see, we have a 12 liter bottle. It was very important to him to be able to store and display these properly. These are in a label forward horizontal display format. In the case of the smaller Magnum style bottles, we can get as many as four per opening. And the larger three, three liter formats, two bottles per opening. These uh, wood shelves here, these are actually adjustable. So as his collection changes over the months and years, uh, he can certainly adjust the shelving to the proper spacing. This back wall here this is quite beautiful. These are also adjustable shelves and um, were intended for wooden cases, but certainly they're, they're fine for, for decorative features and things of that nature. The bottom portion of the shelf is a double deep lattice diamond bin for bulk configuration and certainly increase the capacity of this 12 by 5 wine room. The lattice style feature of the diamond bin allows for good airflow around the bottles and it's a nice attractive feature to the wine cellar. As we come back down the right, the right side of the wall, we've got lots of single bottle storage with a high reveal display row. These bottles are pitched at a 15 degree angle so the, the liquid's still in contact with the cork but it's a nice, it gives the wine room a little character and it certainly shows off some of the labels but Again, a good management tool because you can put like wines above and below the display row. Uh, this cased opening here is indeed a solid cased opening with a solid premium redwood tabletop. We have drawers here for everyday accruements, you know, corkscrews, napkins, whatever uh, you need for your wine cellar. More bulk storage just below in a diamond configuration. The cooling unit is a self-contained Cellar Pro cooling unit. It has variable fan speeds. This will deal with temperatures up to 110 degrees. This one actually exhausts to the outdoors, so we'll take a look at that in a moment. But it has an extended housing or extended cover, I should say, to protect the housing from the elements. And it has a, re um, a reusable air filter as well uh, when they can be washed. Okay, so this is the rear of the cooling unit I was telling you about. It's, um, it extends out beyond the house a little bit more so than the last project that we looked at because of this added depth to protect the rear exhaust and the reusable aluminum filter that protects it from the elements. Uh, the condensate drain line here um, also simply drains off into the flower bed. 